a man. man purchased 180 copies of a book, 215 naira each. He sold Y copies at 300 naira each and the rest at a discount of 5 kobo in the naira of the cost price. If he made a profit of 7,125 naira, find the value of Y. Okay, let's solve this uh, profit and loss question. Uh, first, the total cost of this book. Let's get the total cost. Total cost price of this book. The total cost price 180 copies times the cost of each copy. The cost of each copy is 250 naira. So when you multiply that, you have the total cost price. 180 by 250, you have 45,000 naira. You have 45,000 naira. That is the total cost price. Now let's also get the total selling price. Total selling, selling price. The total selling price. Total selling price will be equals to Let's begin with the first part of the statement. We have completed the first part. So let's go to the second statement. He sold Y copies at 300 now. That is the first selling price. He has sold the first Y copies at 300 now each. That means the first selling price will be 300 uh, times Y. 300 times Y, all in the Naira. Now, the next thing plus the number of copies left, remember he sold Y copies out of 180 copies. So the number of copies left is 180 minus Y. That is what is left, the number of copies that is left. Now, the selling price of this remaining one, the equation said, and the rest at a discount of 5 copper in the Naira. So we are going to multiply it by the cost price, which is uh, 250 at a discount, at a discount of five kobo in the Naira, at a discount. You know that uh, if we are making a discount, uh, in the case of discount, it means we are dropping, instead of selling it 100%, we are now dropping it based on the uh, kobo, uh, the percentage we have now, or in the kobo we have. So five kobo is like dropping 5% of this particular uh, selling price in the naira don't forget in naira and in one naira we have uh, 100 kobo so if you are dropping 5 kobo discount that will be 95 all over 100 remember in terms of the percentage we are dealing with this so this is how you express this whole statement this is how you express this whole statement to give us the total selling price so by the time we solve that our 300 y or 300 y plus now we multiply the whole of this when we multiply this uh, 250 times 95 over 100 everything we are going to have here we already have our 180 minus y times 237.5 we are going to have this this is what we are going to have now we move on with that at the end of the day we will be left with that to be equals to remember we are still looking at the total selling price so we will be having 300 y 300 y this one then we use this to open this bracket so 237.5 times 180 Multiply that by 180, you have plus 42,750. Then minus 237.5 times minus y, we have 237.5 y. So we have this. Now we move on. By the time we solve this, collect like terms where you need to collect like terms. 300 y minus 237.5 y you'll be left with 600 or 62 rather you'll be left with 62.5 y 
then plus 42,750. So you'll be left with this. So this expression is our uh, selling price. Now we move on to calculate for the value of Y. Now we know that profit, we know that profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Selling price minus cost price. And our selling price is what we have calculated already. But don't forget, we were given profit. So let me remove this and substitute for profit at once. We were given that the profit, uh, he made a profit of 7,125 Naira. So let's substitute for profit. 7,125 Naira equals to our selling price. We already did that here. So 62.5 y plus 42,750 750 now minus our cost price our cost price is 45,000 45,000 that's our cost price 45,000 so by the time we solve this let's resolve this when we solve this correctly, collect like them. So you need to collect like them. So this will be 7,125 equals to. Now, if you add up 42,000, okay, if you have 42,750 minus uh, 45,000, 45,000, you will be having everything here to be 62.5y uh, minus. 2,250 2,250 you'll be having there now all we need to do is to make uh, this guy in subject so we have 62.5 y to be equal to 7,125 minus 2,250 so we'll be having that so let's go ahead Okay, this will be plus. This will be plus because we are moving this minus 200 and uh, we are moving this uh, minus 250 to this other side. It becomes plus. Now we have 62.5y to be equals to. When you add up these two, you have 9,000. That is 7,125 plus 2,250. You have 7,000. 375 divide both side by 62.5 you have y to be equals to 9375.5 divide by 62.62.5 you will be left with 150 so the value of y in this whole equation is 150 150 so that is the value of y i will advise you to play this video again until you get it very very clear and if you're confused at any point there's a part you're not clear with feel free to drop it in the comment section either on the youtube or channel on the facebook page and we'll respond once we get your comment